In this video, I want to talk to you about lip syncing in Flash. Um, basically, two methods. One is how you would normally do lip syncing with using just Flash alone, and then how you would um, actually speed up that process using a plugin called Frame Sync by Justin Putney. Um, so the first method uses just Flash alone, and here I already have uh, a sort of very simple character set up with a mouth here, and if I just jog through the timeline, you can see that there's some lip syncing going on, although there's no audio, but uh, there's no need to have audio for this example. Um, so you can see I can turn on and off using keyframes this mouth simply by selecting it and looking in the properties panel you can see in the looping category we have options such as single frame and using this drop down we also have play once and loop as options as well uh, with single frame and having the first frame typed in at number one you can see through these first few frames of this symbol it's going to hold on frame one now let me double click inside of this symbol for you as you can see we are now inside the mouth symbol and on every other frame, I have a whole new mouth shape. Okay. So now the first frame is one, and that's my closed mouth. If I were to go here on frame one, back on the main timeline, select this mouth, and type in frame three, now you will see that the mouth will stay open because it's staying on uh, this frame, frame three. It's referencing that frame from within the mouth symbol. Um, so that's basically how we lip sync. We basically just on the main timeline or the parent timeline tell the mouth what to do because it's a graphic symbol and in a graphic symbol we're allowed these options within the Flash IDE. So um, here he starts to talk. So on this keyframe on frame 10. So if I um, click on the symbol itself, you'll see in, in looping I've just set this from single frame to loop. And here it starts to loop. And it'll loop until I tell it not to. So here I've created a keyframe and I've gone back to single frame. So if I go down the timeline, let's extend it out a little bit. And if I want to, uh, obviously from this keyframe here, single frame one is basically closed the mouth and kept it that way. Um, I'll just go here, hit F6, and I can say loop. And I want you to start on frame three. And you'll see once we get to this keyframe, Starting from three, it'll just loop continuously. And so with audio in place in the timeline, we can listen to the audio and figure out what kind of mouth shape we want. We have all these different mouth shapes here. These, this is the, this, um, these mouth shapes ref represent the individual frames, uh, as you can see here, within this sort of master mouth symbol. So you can see it's kind of a tedious process of going through the timeline, clicking on a frame, hitting F6 on your keyboard, which inserts a keyframe, then selecting the mouth symbol itself, and then deciding whether you want it to loop, play once, or hold on a single frame, and then typing in whatever frame number you want that corresponds. There's an easier way, a better way, using the Frame Sync plugin that I'm about to show you. But before we actually boot up that plugin and launch it, I'm going to do something inside the mouth symbol. I'm going to create a whole new layer. And what I want to do is create a few frame labels, and you'll understand why in a second. So to create a frame label, you can select the frame, and then just type in something descriptive for the corresponding mouth shape. So I'm going to just type in closed. Now you can see how uh, the frame label here is closed, and it corresponds to the very first frame. And what I'm going to do is actually insert a few frames, just so it's easier to understand. I want to insert a, uh, enough frames that you can actually see the frame labels and read them fully without them getting cropped off. Okay. So in frame 10, which is the same frame that has the wide open mouth, okay, I'm going to just type in um, open. Open wide, actually. Let's do that. And you can see my frame label now is written out inside the layer itself. And here I'm just going to say open, maybe medium. And you can uh, choose whatever naming convention you want. Uh, let's just go down and create all the blank keyframes we need. Okay. 
And this one I would use for, say, uh, an F sound. And this would be an L, O. This is more like a uh, an S sound. Maybe an O. And let's go, let's say like a W. That's fine. That'll work. Let's go back to the main timeline. Now, I've uh, downloaded already and installed the frame sync plugin that, that's available um, on Justin Putney's website, Jar Productions, A J A R Productions.com. Um, it's also available. Um, okay, so now to, after you, so once you've installed the plugin, just go to Windows, Other Panels, and select Frame Sync. In the frame sync window, you can see it has actually detected something. It has detected the first frame, but it's also detected all of the descriptive frame labels that I've created for each of my mouths. So let's go back inside here. You can see them all closed, open wide, open medium, F, L, blah, 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 all the down the line. Go back here. You can see now they're all listed here. Two things I want to do is select the auto convert to keyframe and the auto refresh. So now when I select the mouth, you'll see everything gets refreshed. When I select a different symbol, it'll refresh um, this whole listing here uh, in the event that I have other symbols that have nested keyframes and frame labels. Okay, in this instance, I just have a mouth with, um, with all the necessary information. So now for me to scrub the timeline and listen to the sound I want, all I need to do with the, with the playhead positioned appropriately is just select the symbol itself, and then just click on the corresponding shape that I want here in this list. So as you can see, Frame Sync has not only created a keyframe for me on that frame, but is now displaying the appropriate mouth shape. So if I go down the line here, and let's say I had some audio and I was listening, just click on the symbol, and I want this mouth shape. I can open up the mouth, the mouth there. I can close it by clicking on the first frame. So it's, it becomes very quick work, um, several less clicking and, and hitting key shortcuts.